Hey guys, it's Krugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Vanino ROM for the Nexus 5, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Vanino ROM is a uh, Nexus 5 ROM available for this device right now and it is based on the latest version of Android which is Marshmallow and okay now this ROM is not going to give you guys a ton of settings or a ton of stuff which you can uh, customize or stuff like that. It's mainly to give you a themed ROM. Now this is a HTC themed ROM, not a ported ROM. Mind you, the developer does make the difference uh, pretty apparent in his forum. Um, this does have a lot of HTC applications to give you the uh, Sense UI's feel. So, uh, first of all, what you would see here is the Blinkfeed um, Home Launcher, which is the HTC Home Launcher. You have a lot of stuff. Now, I have had some experience with a HTC device, uh, the, namely the HTC M7 uh, previously. And yeah, I really do like the HTC Sense UI. It is unobstructive in a way which doesn't really uh, make a ton of difference to the performance. Uh, it is quite stock-like, but it does have a few extra additions which is really, really nice. And I really appreciate that a lot about the Sense UI ROM. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, home launcher, everything is Sense UI. Uh, Except for the system UI, which is decidedly uh, marshmallow, so you do have that. Uh, apart from that, basically everything is similar to what you would expect in any other marshmallow ROM. So let's get into the settings now. First of all, in the about phone page, you can see it is Venino ROM based on marshmallow. So you can see the uh, snake there. Venino kind of reminds me of Lamborghini, uh, the well, the most expensive production vehicle, whatever it is. So yeah, uh, Venino ROM. Uh, it is based on Android 6.0, so you do have the, uh, I guess this is called Marshmallow Land. I'm not entirely sure. So you'd have that. Uh, you can actually play that. I'm not going to because I'm not interested right now and I will suck big time. So yeah, it also has the November 2015 patch available, which is the latest version of the patch available for this device. So you do have that. Uh, the kernel is said to be Healthcore kernel, which is one of the best kernels I have tried. I did try it on a previous ROM and it is available for Marshmallow. It is a really, really cool kernel, but I cannot really make out if it is installed right now or is it a recommendation rather than uh, the ROM comes with the ROM. I'm not really sure. You can read that. It is what it says. So yeah, again, build number is with you know, ROM. I'm not really sure why. Uh, developer options can be enabled and in the developer options, a lot of stuff can be enabled. Uh, nothing much. And also long pressing this will give you the system UI tuner uh, option where you have a few stuff like status bar options where all of these can be disabled or enabled. Quick setting panel where you have I guess one tile extra and you can also customize these tiles as you want. So you can actually do a, quite a bit of stuff with this. Um, not really sure if you would uh, use this in any way. I'm not really sure. It show embedded battery percentage. Now the battery uh, It comes with the sense UI battery, but I have actually en enabled this uh, three minute battery mod uh, Which it was there in the forums I did not know about this mod before I flashed it and it's just a battery replacement uh, battery icon replacement So that works. So I guess that should be pretty uh, self-explanatory uh, apart from that it doesn't really have a lot of settings to take care of. If you don't, if you notice here, the Wi-Fi uh, hyphen is now an underscore. I'm not really sure why that is it with this ROM. Um, other Marshmallow ROMs don't have that, but hey, it's just something which I noticed. Uh, display in the display options, you do have ambient display enabler. Uh, you can actually enable that. Nothing special. These are all stuff which is there in the flash. Uh, vanilla marshmallow experience so yeah pretty cool uh, all of these are new marshmallow features so you do have all of this app info you can actually customize the uh, permissions all that do not disturb the new marshmallow do not disturb all of that is available now this does have the notification LED enabled uh, I probably cannot show you guys but there is no way of uh, just um, well changing the stuff about it okay so you have the uh, Pulse notification light, it, it is enabled, so you can actually uh, disable that also. Battery option now, battery life isn't the best, if I would say, but because it does 
uh, brain battery quite quickly but let's get to the other stuff now again as I have said the settings does not have a lot of different stuff uh, depending on uh, uh, the ROM so yeah let's get to the interesting stuff now this is a sense UI themed ROM it does have a sense it does have a lot of sense themed applications like the calendar which is the actual sense application this was ported by another developer and this ROM uses them and it is really really awesome I mean I really really like the sense styling and stuff like that the camera is also uh, the Zoe type style camera so you do have a few options here it is really really nice to uh, have and it does give you a lot uh, bokeh ap application it does give you uh, split capture a lot of stuff here uh, it uh, kind of reminds me of the Xperia camera, but I yeah I know that this camera is the one which came it came with the stuff first. So yeah, it does work. Uh, it takes pictures, and I guess that should be it. So yeah, it also has the HTC uh, clock application, which is pretty cool. Which is really lightweight. Uh, well clock application I would say so it is available the file manager is also the HTC file manager you do have that you can be using this and I really appreciate whenever ROM comes with a file manager rather than me him uh, needing to uh, flash or install it myself so yeah it does have the gallery application which is pretty nice I mean uh, this is the uh, sense style gallery application uh, you do have a lot of stuff here and that is really really appreciated uh, because I really like this uh, so yeah it's 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 a better experience than the vanilla experience available in the marshmallow ROM so yeah it does now have the Google now and now this ROM does come with GApps pre-installed so that seems to in, uh, eliminate all the problems which is available with all these stuff so Google tap is enabled I have w used it fair amount of bit and I really appreciate that the music is also the uh, uh, HTC music app as you can see it does have a lot of stuff here and I, I really really appreciate that because it's really nice to have a themed uh, uh, application list than the vanilla experience you are getting with any other lollipop or the marshmallow rom so yeah photo editor now this does come with the HTC sense photo editor which is pretty awesome I mean I have actually used a few of these stuff uh, let me just take one picture of it uh, well this is the picture of my device tools I can actually do a lot of stuff here it's really nice I mean I have been uh, uh, playing with this for some time now and uh, I really really like it. It, it there are a lot of stuff you can do with it and I, it is really fun uh, I really really like it so I have just saved this and yeah that is pretty nice now it does come with quick pick which uh, I am not entirely sure about uh, this one because I mean come on uh, quick pick was sold out to another company and a lot of people have moved away from quick pick I'm not entirely sure why but hey I still use it on my Xperia and uh, I am not really sad about it so yeah it is available for those who need uh, more speed and stuff like that so yeah it does come with a note making application which is pretty nice I mean you do have op application here so you have notebook all notes you can enable notes you can enter notes and uh, you can scribble stuff here so uh, pretty cool application if you want to have a you if you want to take notes on your phone which I personally do not take so yeah it does come with the HTC themes which is pretty awesome I mean uh, I cannot say this is going to work for everyone uh, I was not able to get a connection to the HTV, HTC servers I'm not sure if that is a uh, Thing about this ROM or if my authentication method is failing time and time uh, so yeah I'm not entirely sure about that but it should be working in the normal functionality so yeah this is a theming function if you have ever used the HTC theming uh, this should work in fact any theming application like Sony or Samsung's theming uh, it should work so yeah it does come with Viper for Android FX which is one of the best uh, audio uh, improvement implementation which I've used on at least on my S3 I have been using it for a long time and I really really like it it's a really really awesome way to enhance your audio experience so that is really cool it does come with the audio uh, voice recorder of HTC as you can see it does give you a nice uh, visual indication of the recording and stuff like that it's really nice and yeah this is a three minute battery setting which is there which I have enabled to be a monochromatic one you can actually go for user created ones or uh, stuff like that this is a 
third party application which uh, there are three two versions available on the forum you have a free version which is this one or you have you can go ahead and uh, buy it from the play store and have the upgraded version where there are a lot of stuff a lot of uh, changes to be made uh, color changes stuff like that it can be done so yeah pretty nice so rest about this rom now uh, the boot animation is the stock marshmallow boot animation i'm not going to show you guys again that uh, let me just show you guys the end to do benchmark score which is pretty awesome well, yeah, not that awesome, but still. So guys, there you have it. That is the score which I received. The score is about 31,000. Uh, I will try and get a screen cap into it because uh, I had a few problems with the phone. I had to reboot and stuff like that. It's nothing because of the ROM. It's because of the hardware which I have right now. It has a few problems. I am looking for a replacement for the, a flex cable for the LCD. So yeah, uh, that is there. I guess that much is it about the uh, ROM now. Um, Again, about the ROM, in a conclusion, I would like to say the developer of this ROM says that he is looking for a uh, very stable ROM and I do believe it is a very stable ROM. So yeah, um, I just <laughs> phone just turned off. That's not because of the ROM. It's a problem with the battery I'm having. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the video. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.